Now let's take this same number 207.6. Instead of trying directly to convert from octal to hexadecimal, we will what we will do is we will convert from octal to binary which is really easy we just need to use the lookup table and then we will convert the binary to hexadecimal. So first we will convert it into binary so for that we need the lookup table. So let's first convert this octal number with the base 8 to binary. So all we need to do is look it up in the table so for 7 we have 111 for 0 we have 000, 000. for 2 we have 0, 01 0. So we have done with this and the decimal part is 110. Now what we have is the binary equivalent. Now all we need to do is convert into hexadecimal. For that we need to group them group the binary digits into groups of 4. So here we are we will add a 0 padding at the end. So the 0 here is not going to make any difference. Now we just need to look for these combinations. That is 1100. So 1100 is C, 0111 that will be 7 and 1000 that will be 8. So 87 point C to the base 16. So what we did is we converted the octal number to binary. Then from binary we converted it into hexadecimal. So this is the easiest method to convert from octal to hexadecimal. Now let's see the conversion from hexadecimal to other number systems.